great question. Um, so the um, motivation for Stabilize Our Staffing um, in long-term care started 20 years ago uh, when I was a CNA in long-term care. I came home to my husband and I said, I'm going to be the DON of this place and make sure these people get taken care of. And that's kind of what started this like fire in my heart to make sure that these patients had the staff that they needed. And it, I, as I have worked my way up in the long-term care system from CNA to LPN to RN, I've done almost every role in a nursing home. I've served in lots of capacities and I did finally work my way up to DON. And I just saw this broken system, um, you know, and there's, there's so many pieces um, to it and they all intertwine into the staffing of the organization. There's over 15,000 nursing homes in the country. And in the last four years, um, over 500, 550 nursing homes have had to close. So what that does is that furthers this issue because they can't afford the extra PPE. They can't afford the agency. They can't afford the higher acuity care. Um, so these all affect the operator's margins and their ability to care for these patients, especially specifically in rural areas who cannot get care. I'm all for, I love hospice. I used, you know, I've, I've done a lot of hospice. So I'm all for home-based community care as well. But there are some people who don't have anyone to care for them in their home. So a nursing home is a need, not a want. They have to have this service. And what happens when these rural nursing homes close is that that service isn't available and they have to move um, one facility, uh, one hospital and, and facility had to place their patient nine hours away and their family couldn't visit them. So it's those kind of things that impact real people and their lives because we can't get our organizational margins to operate the facility anymore. So the why for my program is because I've seen the broken system and the how is to create a system with the focus on staffing with the facility leadership. So it's a partnership with the facility leaders to develop that transparency around staffing, that self-reliance for that facility and um, create accountability, healthy accountability there. So the goal would be to scale that um, to several facilities within an organization. So a pod of facilities in an area, either a geographic area or within an organization where the leadership of that facility could participate in a, in a group function and, and really share that um, accountability and that learned commute, that shared community learning with their organization leadership. So not only does that impact the, the turnover of leaders in long-term care, um, but, but it will also positively impact the staffing at those facilities because those DONs have the world on their shoulders. I mean, really, they are carrying the whole facility um, and it's a heavy burden and they know they'll get pulled to the floor in the middle of the night if somebody doesn't show up. So it's a very cyclical problem um, that really needs a more permanent fix. And so that's how I'm, I'm hoping to do that. 